Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to the channel today. I guess yesterday now that I'm recording it, EA has dropped their first event in NHL 24. We are going to take a look at it together and then we are going to be ripping up some packs as well. So as you can see here, the new event is Hut Headliners. Uh, one of them being Alex Hemsky, which we do get for free, which I will be showing you guys in a bit. We have these Hut Headliners as well. Giordano, Castle, Darleen, Ovi, and UC Saros. Now, we're going to look at these cards at their 86 overalls. Obviously, it's the same upgrading system as it was in previous years. Actually, let me take that back. To upgrade these cards now, you're using power-up collectibles, not specific cards that you would use for the event. Like last year, let's say it was a headliners event. You would have to make headliner collectibles to upgrade your headliners card. This year, it's just power-up collectibles, which is kind of good. You could just make power-up collectibles all year and upgrade whichever power-up cards you have. So we're looking at the Marie Philippe Poulain to begin with. Uh, this card does look pretty good. She's got sniper forward and shooting boost, having both of those activated crazy card with those shooting uh stats she's a little slow but five six one sixty one and that speed should honestly even her out uh not a bad looking card wouldn't be the one i'd go for though next up we got alexander burroughs this is a card that i just i, I guess it's a well-rounded card it's just not a card i'd make I, I don't think i'd enjoy using him but uh this is what he looks like two-way forward and shooting boost again good card with a good shooting stat uh not the fastest decent hands uh, other than that, I, I don't know. It's a decent card, but n nothing I would want to make. Next up, we got this Alex Hemsky, which I said uh, earlier we do get for free. Again, I will show you guys how you guys can get this card for free. Uh, but this card looks pretty good, actually. With playmaking forward and uh, agile dangler booster, uh, he's decently fast. Overall, decent shot. Very good hands. Like, look, look at the hands when you have everything activated here. This card might be worth it. He's got third eye and elite edges as well. Uh, one of the cards I would be considering uh, to make. Brooks Orpik. This card is very interesting to me. This is one of the cards I am looking to make. So uh, if you have Defensive Defenseman and Defensive Boost activated, uh, his card looks insane. Pretty fast for a 6'3", 217 Defenseman. Shooting stats are decent. His hands is where it comes into play. This card is a Defensive Defenseman, like defensively defensive. Uh, his hands are horrible. 71 deking, uh, 83 offensive awareness, 71 hand eye, 85 passing, 81 puck control. It's not great, but you, you you get this card to be that defensive guy on your back line. So if we're looking at Brooks Orpik with all with both uh, synergies activated, 98 defensive awareness, 99 shot blocking, 96 stick checking, uh, 60 face offs, sure, and 81 discipline. Like this card is a defensive defenseman at heart. And uh, he's one of the cards I want bolstering my back line. And quickly, before we get into these packs, I don't want to bore you guys with all this stuff, but I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff in the event just in case you guys missed it. So here is how you can get your free icon Alice, Alice Hemschke player. You got to complete 30 games in Hut Rush. Now, I will say Hut Rush do have better rewards thanks to Thrash Gaming. Um, the rewards are actually decent. It's not that much of a grind and you get decent packs now, so it's good. All right, with that being said, we are finally going to rip open some packs. I'm going to show you guys a new packs that came out with this event. We got a 50k pack, which gets you a guaranteed hut headliner at an 82 overall, a power up collectible and 10 player items. This pack is untradeable. Uh, and then you got an impact players pack, 24 player items, 10 gold player items uh, of at least uh, four of them being 80 plus overall. You got a hut, hut, hut headliners starter pack. This is also untradeable. You get two hut headliner event collectibles, a random previously released hut headliner player item, and a guarantee of eight player items. That's an interesting pack. And then we got an opening night pack, which is just 10 items with at least two 80 plus overall players. And then we also have some other special packs, which we are going to be uh, ripping open the jumbo elite packs and then the elite packs. All right. So let's get into it. I've been talking about the event. I know you guys are here for the packs. Let's rip them. All right. So we're going to start off with these jumbo elite packs. We get five of them. We're going to open up all five. Uh, so we have hundred percent and 80 plus uh, player, a 70% chance at an 83 plus and a 3.5% chance at an 86 plus. So this is 20 items with at least 11 80 plus overall players. All right. So let's hope for the best here. First jumbo elite pack. I've yet to pull a purple in this game. Let, let's, let's get a purple here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Sure. 82 overall. We'll take that. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko. Okay. Okay. How is this card looking this year? How, how is he decent? Decent old boy. 
We'll take Vladimir Guer uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is what I was going to say. We'll take Vladimir Tarasenko. My God. Sebastian Ajo. 83 overall. Sebastian Ajo. That's actually good. I'm going to throw him onto the team probably. Two-way forward. Uh, not too bad. But Ajo is looking pretty decent. We'll take that. Uh, Connor Garland. Okay. Uh, Faraby. Okay. Come on. I want to see my first purple, man. Uh, Carter Hart. We pulled Slavowski as, as well. Uh, Cam Atkinson. Oh my God, please. Give me, let me see purple. JT Miller, 82 overall. Evan Rodriguez. Bobrovsky. And that's it for that pack. But honestly, not too bad with the 83 Ajo. Uh, still have yet to pull a purple. Second Jumbo Elite pack. I didn't do this in my first pack opening video. We are pulling out the nose pack. The OG way to open up a Hockey Ultimate Team pack. All right. Nose pack. All right. B B Bilka, Bilka, all right. Uh, Soderstrom, okay. Uh, Brandon Carlo, that's a card for sure, okay. Uh, Spencer Knight, Toko, all right. Uh, okay, Max Pacioretty on the caps now, all right. I forgot that happened. Andrew Kopp, power up collectible. We take that actually. We actually take a power up collectible, okay. That's nice. Uh, we don't have to make it, so that saves us like what 40 players. I don't know how much it is to make it. Uh, yes, Barry Kakanyemi, uh, Tristan Jari, Davis Savard, Davis Savard, Dennis Savard, and that is it. Okay, not a great pack, player-wise, but we get we get a power-up collectible, which is nice. The nose pack did not treat us well, man. What the hell? Okay, come on. I want to see a purple. Like, give me a Connor. I know there's not a lot to pull a purple in, but I can get the MSPs. I can get McDavid. Uh, so. I guess a McDavid would be nice. An X-Factor card would be nice too. A power-up icon would be nice too. Oh my God. No, 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 no. As I, as I said, a power-up icon would be nice. We get a power-up icon. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's happening. That timing is actually wild. It's happening. Okay. We're going through the rest of the pack. It's actually happening. Oh my God. Bro, I was literally saying a power up icon would be nice too. Oh, these jerseys are in the game. That's sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna activate those. But as I was saying, a power up icon would be nice. We get one. We get one. That's crazy. Okay, 83 overall. Okay. I mean, honestly, like if we get nothing else, it's well, I don't want to say that yet. We don't know what the power up icon is, but oh my god, Mario or Wayne, right? It's got to be something cool, man. All right, all right. I'm gonna look. I'm, I'm sorry, chat. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay, we're hitting A. We're hitting A right now. All right. Uh, good stream, guys. Dude, I, I thought it was going to be Mario or Wayne. I thought it was. I mean, it, it's a tradable power-up icon. It's cool. It could be worse. You're right. But God, I, I I don't know why I thought it was going to be Mario or Wayne, man. I thought it was. Let's go see like what he's going for. I'm going to send him to my trade pile. But hey, we pulled a power-up icon, man. Like I, I didn't pull one last year. We pulled one now. I mean, hey, it's 40, 45K, 40K in my pocket. All right. Well, the good news is we still have two of these packs after pulling up a power-up icon. Maybe we'll get another power-up icon, man. Who knows? All right, here we go. Uh, Tyler Bertuzzi, okay. I saw him score his first goal in a Leaf uniform at the at the last preseason game. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sumela, Boquist. All right, we're hitting all the 80 pluses, and they're just like straight up 80 pluses. 1,000 coins. We'll take the coin bonus. Uh, okay, we pulled her already. Leclerc. Valtteri Filpula still playing hockey. That's interesting. Ryan Johansson. Okay. Oh, God. No, this pack ain't it, dog. I mean, really, we really can't complain after the last one. Adrian Kempe, 81 overall, not too shabby. But other than that, yak yikle. All right, last Jumbo Elite pack, and then we are going to move on to, I think they're just the Elite packs uh, to the right of them. I'm not too, I'm not too sure here. Okay, so uh, Laura Stacy, 83 overall. Ryan Strom, okay. Matty Beneers is an 82 overall this year, eh? Good for him, man. Two-way forward. It honestly looks like a decent card. I don't know if he'd fit my team right now. Uh, he doesn't really have any of the synergies I use, but it's, it's, it's a good looking card. We got Brandon Montour. Okay. Uh, Luster Ryanen. TJ Brody is an 81 overall. Okay. 
Uh, Islanders jersey, Team Norway jersey, Cali Yarn Croak. Uh, okay. All right. We got, what, four cards left? There's got to be a purple. Or are they just going to be team items? Hey. Oh, bam. Bam. Bang. Bang. David Pasternak. 85 overall. He uses Sniper Forward, which is a synergy I use with that activated. Oh, my God. This card has me feeling some kind of way. This card has me feeling some kind of way right now. Okay. All right. No, he's fast. He can shoot. I mean, for an 85, it's not a purple. One overall would have been a purple, but David Pasternak looks beautiful. Th this is the pack to be, so we're, we're going to stick with the elite packs. The jumbo elites were good. Maybe the elites will be somewhat close to being good. I don't, I don't know. All right. So we got some jerseys, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, Jake Allen. Okay. Jordan Eberle. Slavelski again. Oh, that's a dub. That's a dub. That's actually a f***ing dub. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Holy hell. Dude, so pretty much how this card works, if you guys don't know, if um, the Blackhawks win, I think against the Penguins or whoever they play, he gets a plus one overall. Regardless, 84 overall Bedard. Let's take a look at this card because it's got to be pretty good. He's got Sniper Forward as well. Holy hell, man. What's his ankle breaker? Okay, makes sense. That shot looks good. He looks fast. Uh, he's getting thrown onto the team, man. We might have to do a debut game with this Connor Bedard. I mean, hey, the, the packs have been treating me well this morning. I think the time to rip packs is early in the morning. I think I think that might be the play, to be honest, man. I don't know. Okay, how many times have we pulled this Islander jersey? My God. Uh, Pudis, sure. Ryan O'Reilly, whatever. We don't need him. We don't need him. We don't need him. Uh, Slavin at an 83, okay. He's a dupe, so we could probably sell him off. And McKelly, Maselli, sure. These elite packs. These elite packs. I don't know, man. The jumbo elites were nice to us. The elites, as we pulled Dowdy. I mean, we pulled the dart in the elite pack, so I guess we can't really complain there. Uh, Aiden Hale, Dylan Duby, uh, Ron Francis, UPL, and that's it. Next pack is a dub. M maybe the next. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Next pack here. It's got to be the one. It's got to be the one. It's got to be the one. Here we are. Bang. Okay. Sick Oilers jersey. Brandon Chan. Don't really use that synergy, so that coach isn't too helpful. Downtown Connor Brown. Uh, Jake Ottinger. Okay. We might have found our new goaltender. 6'5", 220. Playmaking boost. I mean, sure. Uh, it's a good-looking goalie. I, right now, I'm rocking Darcy Kemper, so it's a plus two overall upgrade if I use Jake Ottinger. We'll take a Jake. Okay, not too bad. Uh, okay, Rat Ray. Okay, we'll take a Jamie Lee. Scott Wedgwood. We pulled the uh, Dallas Stars netminders in this pack. Uh, Brandon Hagel, 82 overall. Not too bad. And that's about it. Hey, you know what? Rambo was right. This pack was it. All right. Second last pack. Come on. We got some jerseys. Mikel Granlin. Okay. The Canucks jersey again. Evgeny. Welcome to the team, Gino. I feel like every year... In the first, like, three days, I pull a Geno Malkin. We pull him again this year. I don't know if I'll use him. Uh, he does use Playmaking Forward, which is a synergy I've been rocking. He's slow, man, for how tall he is. I don't know if I'll use him, but we'll take a Geno Malkin. We'll take a Darnell Nurse as well. Uh, Jacob Truba. And a Jacob Markstrom. Not too bad, honestly. Last pack of the pack opening. It's got to be a good one. Surely, we got to end off on a high. It just has to be that way. Bang. Okay, that's okay. Off to not a great start, that's for sure. Penguins jersey. Trevor Zegris. Okay, just signed an extension. We'll take a Trevor Zegris. That's not too bad. Uh, okay, Sarah Filler, 84 overall. That's a dub. I used her card a little bit last year, and she was actually good. She's really fast. She might be okay to use this year. Her str 86 strength for a 5-5 is not bad. We'll take a Sarah Filler. Grizzlick. Provorov again, and that is it. But you know what? 84 and 82 not a bad way to end off the pack opening well that pack opening went way better than expected especially after the first one it was a decent first pack opening but i didn't pull as much as i thought this one was way better to say the least so i'll take that uh but regardless uh that's gonna be it for this video let me know what you guys think of the new event down in the comment section below personally 
I'm on the fence about it. it it's kind of the same stuff. They added some new stuff. I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. It, it. It's feeling a little repetitive to me. Anyways, guys, like I said, that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, be sure to drop a like on this video. If you guys are new around here, make sure to the subscribe button down below for some more NHL 24 content. And like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.